Hi everyone, I'm working on a three recap videos for all the raws where I want to give you a bite-sized pack of info summarizing the original big video as I'm preparing for the big versus video. While I was going over the CDNG data again, I've noticed a couple of mistakes for the workup for which I apologize. Since I've started filming these tests, I've improved my procedure, but unfortunately CDNG and Bureau are messy and I'm just spotting the problems now. I'm sorry it took so long to catch these mistakes, they're not game-changing, but I wanted to point them out to you. The first one is to do with approximating the original exposure values of the underexposed images from the third batch, somewhere around 0.5 to 1 f-stop higher. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I ran three batches of tests. This is batch one, and this is batch two, and this is batch three. Now, this is the exposure value that I gave as original exposure. It's actually one stop lower than that, even though this is not what the false color indicates. So this should be negative one. This should be negative two. This should be negative three, rather. Obviously, it's gonna have half a stop of error, so it could be negative 1.5 and sorry, negative 2.5. But bear this in mind because this is what I've called in ProRes Raw negative three. However, the error, let's say, hasn't propagated that much when I did the calculations for the noise levels. Like, if I remember right, I think that's, that's how I calculated it using the BM values. For the BM film clips, do you can see that I've corrected the exposure here and this is the actual result. It should have been for the original exposure as well. The second mistake is to do with the clipping point for ISO 3200. I think I was a bit too conservative there. I wrote 4.5, oh sorry, here 4.5, but I think it's actually 5.5. What you have to bear in mind though is my error. So over here I have an error of plus or minus 0.5 EV. This is very important for this one here because if we pull up the dynamic range chart for Sigma FP, and we look at 3200 ISO, we can see that the official clipping point is 5.42. So obviously this is the best case scenario. So for this case, I'm gonna have a note here and say 5. Even though my experimental value is 5.5, this should really be five tops in order for you to be within the theoretical value. These are the CDNG corrections. Next off is the how to correctly expose Sigma FP CDNG bite-sized version. See you next time.